G'day with the traders, I'm Roy, I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warned Arms. And Calvin. Coach of the Calvin Agent. We're reviewing all 18 teams to help you pick your fantasy side before the start of the season. And today we're looking at, well obviously... Donning the, the Sash, the, the Bombers. bombers. Now Donning this is sash. interesting. The biggest yep. probably fantasy story for us at the moment to be thinking about. In about a week or so, Tuesday before the season starts, yep. we find out from the Tribune what happens to the Essendon boys with the supplement scandal saga thing yep. that has been going on for a while. Now, Heard it. we want Heard to, it. We, we'll have a look at the players and see what people are selecting and stuff. What will happen after that, if the players are suspended for a significant amount of time, then we'll see top-up players included. If they are suspended anyway, it's going to change what we do with our fantasy sides right Without from the get-go, mm -hmm. I think. So let's have a look at the top five currently, what people are selecting. And we've got Goddard sitting there at the top of the table. Now, last year, Goddard, he averaged just under 100. Mm. He's finished the year a little bit poorly, but from the start, he was averaging 106 yeah. from the first 11 games. And I did like that a lot. Yeah. And I actually picked him up um, in the midfield, but now we get him as a dual position player. So... He's a forward mid. On board? I will be at some point, but not to start with. Yeah, no. I'm, um, once again, waiting to see what happens. I'm worried that all the um, tagger attention will sort of go his yeah. way if those other guns are suspended. Might have so to work I'm hard. Just, yeah, yeah, certainly. So I'm just keeping an eye out for that. Now, way. Roy, Bill Chambers is exciting you at $281,000. Yep, well, and that's the thing. He is locked into. Um, my ruck at the moment, once again, pending what happens. Um, but he's averaged 80 in the past. He has. Um, I think he's a really good fantasy player, and I think he's so undervalued, priced at about 55, yep. that it's too good to say no. Ruck forward flexibility yep. I like as well. Um, also there in the ruck is McKernan, who's also ruck forward. He's $189,000. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Backup ruck, all that sort of thing. So people are, you know, choosing him because they knew his, they've known his play before, that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, getting into Hibbo, he is my favourite Essendon player. The he? number one's on my back because I love him, and I love him in my fantasy team. He is just consistent as they come. Mr. Nineties, isn't he? Ridiculous. Just does it all the time? I think. Yeah. So last year, thirteen out of eighteen games, he went eighty-eight plus. Now that doesn't happen for many players at all in the back line. No, it so doesn't. if he's playing. Lock him in so right you, from the start. You've got him. Yes, right from the start I'll have him oh. if he's playing round one. You will. Yep. And you guys will have him soon enough because you'll go, his price isn't going to fluctuate much because he's just that he is, good. He is consistent. Mm. All right. And then Calvin Heppel, you're a big fan of Love price. Heppel, but you need a big fat wallet if you're going to yeah. uh, be paying for him. 606000 is what he costs. He is the, has the potential, though, to average 110 and will be in our teams and talked oh. about probably for the next 10 years. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Jet. Mm. All right, now let's have a look at some players. Now, Roy, you're thinking about the ruck because if we do lose yep. Bell Chambers, yep. or if you've got him out of there, mm. what are you thinking of doing? Well, obviously I'm really hopeful that um, Belly gets to play from round one, but if he doesn't, um, my backup plan is still in the Essendon right. team, and it is Giles. You've got to pay an extra 60000 or so for Giles, but in his first year at GWS when he was sole ruck, he averaged over 80. Yep. So... He can I'm, do that. Yeah, so I'm thinking if he's number one ruck for the Bombers, he might even improve that a little bit. He's looked yeah. good in the pre-season, and I think he'll average well if he's not playing um, tandem ruck with Belly. That's right. Someone else that might get some opportunity I like is Elliot Kavanagh. Now, he's into a few years into the system now, but his mm. basement price is $142,000, nice and cheap, and he's been solid in the nab, yeah, enough to show me that, yes, I would like to have him in my side, mm. and might as well have him in our side, especially if... They do get suspended. Yeah. That he can get a run He there. looked really good in AB3. I've yep. watched him closely ever since he got drafted because I've always yeah. thought he was pretty good. He's looking really good now in the NAB, isn't he? So yep. on with you. He's popped in and out of my side a few times this preseason based on, you know, if he gets that opportunity. He's really good. Uh, two guys that won't be suspended is uh, Cooney and Chapman. Experienced too. Experienced veterans. How good is the Essendon recruiting? Oh, Very good point. Very <laughs> Let's have a quick chat about Cooney now. He's priced under 80 and has averaged over 90 in the past. So yep. Only a couple of years ago. Would we yeah, consider well. that? Would we consider? Definitely, because if he's going to be used mm. through the midfield, his numbers will improve from that 80 or so. During the NAB too, I saw him sneaking across half-back, taking a lot of marks yeah. back there as well. So. Oh, did you just? Yeah, yeah. Li I like to see that. Yeah, well, exactly yeah. right. So he's massively relevant, I reckon. Chappie worries me a little bit with his 
body resting, that sort of yeah. stuff, because he's getting an old man. He he's has mentioned that man. he needs to um, look after his body a bit better this year. Yeah, that but means resting. He averaged 92 last year he's when we all still thought he was getting old, and he was awesome. So Future Fantasy Hall of Famer. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think we have that. Mm. Now, if um, the top-up players, or the replacements as they've been called, mm. are added to fantasy, there were some guys that to give us a little bit of yeah. bit of an idea over the NAB challenge that we might like to pick up. I'll go through the best ones. I've picked the three best. Now, Mitch Brown used to play for Geelong. All right. Excellent, he's been. He was excellent. 101 in the first game. Top the score is there. Mm. 74 and 65. And last year, like last time we played, it was about 250K. Yeah. So if he comes in at that, that's a lot of value, good yeah. value. So we don't know what sort of prices these guys will be, but if it's around that... If he doesn't get a gig this year... He'll, next year we will be yeah. picking him for All right, someone. we'll be talking about him yeah, for someone next doubt. year. Uh, Clint Jones, former St Kilda, mm. uh, 67, 65, 88. Mm. And he's around that 300k mark when he finished up. So that could be a bit of a bargain there. Don't know. That... Yeah. Not for me, dog. You're not a fan of Jones. He has no, been no. a massive ball magnet when he hasn't had to tag oh, in the time. past. Yeah. But it's awkward price. Yes. Mm. And finally, uh, was on the Essendon list a few years ago, Marcus Magliani. Who? Uh, yeah. Yes, that's him. So um, did I'll tell you about his scores because you like that a bit more. <laughs> he had 94, 69, and then he was in a vest for a 22. Yeah. But those sorts of scores are pretty nice. In 2010, he played two games, uh, had a 53 and a 63 then, mm. back then, that was a long time ago. But he's 29 now. Yeah. He's mature. He looked yeah. very comfortable yes. too on, and out there. Yeah. Yes, looked good. So, interesting. I don't know. It's a very much watch this space for the it Bombers is. at the moment to see what to do. Uh, we'll be all over that on afl.com.au, so we'll give you all the news of that when we know that. Um, and through Twitter, at AFL Fantasy, and also our official Facebook page, that is facebook.com slash uh, AFL Fantasy Official. Well yeah. done. I wouldn't have got I that. Wouldn't have no, you wouldn't have. <laughs> now, sign up if you haven't already to Fantasy, which is at fantasy.afl.com.au and... Join the Essendon group, and I'm going to have a bit of a crack against all those boys in the league and hopefully take that out. We've got to tell you something about this. I'm going to remember it all. I'm a smart man. <laughs> Go, Bobbers!